rhythm of the song Daddy, play me Move to the rhythm of the song Daddy, play me Move to the rhythm of the song Daddy, play me Hey all, I pray that each and every last one of you are doing amazing great on today. Um, I actually came on like promised um, to share with you my supernatural encounter that I just had a couple of days ago. Um, you know, as I was uh, about to upload this video, um, the Lord began to speak to me um, concerning some things that he's actually been showing his prophets. And there's some things that he wants me to um, to encourage and uplift you with you prophets out there, um, you servants of God, you leaders, you ministers, you evangelists, you missionaries, and so forth. He wants me to encourage you with this word that anytime he gives you something, you may feel like within yourself that, you know, if I go tell somebody what it is that the Lord shared with me, they may not believe um, exactly what it is that um, that we are sharing but the Lord wanted me to let you know that there are so many people out here that don't even believe that Jesus Christ exists, but that does not mean that he is not real. That does not mean that he doesn't exist just because they don't believe. So if he's telling you to go do something, he's encouraging you to get up and actually go do it. Um, there are two scriptures that he wants me to share with you before I actually share this encounter. And the first one you're going to find in John 3, verse 12. John 3, verse 12. And it says, if I have told you earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? So I want you to understand, listen, if, if people can't even understand earthly things, please don't expect them to believe heavenly things such as supernatural um, um, encounters that you have, such as um, visions, such as dreams that God has given you when you're hearing audible voices Please don't get frustrated. Don't even get angry with them because according to uh, Psalms 37, the Lord already told us not to fret ourselves over those that work evil, you know, that, that that's doing the work of wickedness. Please don't fret yourself. Don't worry yourself about these people because they don't even believe the earthly things. What make you think they can believe the deep things of God? All right. Um, the second um, scripture that he wants me to share with you today is Mark 6. Verse 11, Mark 6, verse 11, and it reads, and whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. So listen, if they don't believe what it is that you are saying, what you're sharing, what God is leading you to share, listen. It doesn't even matter. All you need to know is that when he's telling you to go do these things, you get up and you go do it because your reward is at the end, just as their reward is at the end. Your reward may be heaven and their reward may be hell because they're not listening to God. When someone is coming to encourage them, when someone is trying to help them, they're praying and asking God to help them with certain things and God is sending the help to them, but they're refusing to the help. So it's not your fault that you know, you're seeing things and they're wondering why they're not seeing it. They're wondering why they're not experiencing. They're not experiencing or seeing it because they don't even believe those that God is showing it to. So please be encouraged. Now, let me share it with you. The encounter that I had. I, I believe that everybody's heart that is supposed to be ready is going to be ready to hear this. So a couple of days ago, I was actually lying in my bed. My husband, he was out, um, you know, dumping out the, um, the trash. And um, I was lying in bed and all of a sudden I got tired. I went to sleep. Okay. I was taking me a little nap and here have you, I was woken up to a voice. The voice was the voice of my daughter, <clears throat> my daughter. She was out. Okay. And um, she was out of the house. And what happened was I heard her said, mama, <clears throat> and I didn't respond to anything. I was just listening. And as I heard the voice, I was able to look up and see in a vision. You guys, I was, I was completely awakened. I was not sleeping and I, I was not like daydreaming or anything. I literally saw this with my, but with my eyes, I saw this in a vision. All right. I heard her say, mama, I would come home, but, and as I was hearing her say this, I was seeing a text message saying the same thing with the dot, 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 dot. 
And all of a sudden, it was like I saw a white light behind me, but I wouldn't dare think to turn around. I was like, look, if that's an angel, the angel is going to have to probably walk this way because I'm not turning around to see what was behind me. Because you guys, I'm not going to lie. I have to be honest. I literally almost allowed fear to enter into my heart. And what ended up happening, boom, I dropped off to sleep again. And then now I was waking up to my husband sweeping the floor. And as I, he was sweeping the floor um, in my kitchen area, the, the, the sound of the room, it actually woke me up and I called him in the room so I can share the encounter with him. So as I was talking to him about the encounter, here it is. The Lord is speaking to me. He said, now I want you to message. We call it text. I want you to text your daughter and tell her what it was that you experienced today and what you heard and wait for her response because she was thanking this today, Right. And as I text my daughter, as you are looking at the image that you see on your screen, this was actually a text between me and that daughter that um, that I actually heard in the spirit. And if you're looking at her response, she is she is saying I am crying because I was just saying that today. And you guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, you know, sometimes fear does come in when you want to get afraid. But the thing about it is you just got to know God's voice. So I was like, you know, God. I know that I'm drawing even more nigh to you. I'm drawing closer to you. You know, I'm trying to have the, the, the best intimate relationship that I possibly can have with you. I'm constantly trying to pray even more, you know, be in my word, definitely more because I love the word of God. You guys, it's like, I'm like, I don't know if I tapped into something, you know, um, in the supernatural where God now it's, you know, because I've heard an audible voice of God before I've seen visions with, um, with the Yeshua before, you know, I, I've seen visions even on the dark side. So, you know, when I heard this, I was like, God, did I tap into something? Because now it's like I'm hearing, you know, the spirit of people, the hearts of them, like they're, them talking. And I just bless God for this supernatural encounter. And, you know, there's a lot of people out here that is going through the same thing, who has experienced the same thing. But people are looking at them like they are crazy. Let me tell you something. There is nothing crazy about you. The The problem is. We are supposed to be living a supernatural lifestyle because while we're actually spirits who are living in a supernatural what? world, right? We are spirits that's living in a supernatural world. We're actually supposed to be encountering that because we are spirits. We're living in a body. So that the supernatural world is actually supposed to be natural to us. But it's foreign to a lot of us because we don't understand it. We don't even understand the word of God. Like when people hear you say, oh, you know, I've experienced audible voices. The first thing they say is, ah, uh-uh. because first off, audible voices, it was never, ever heard from nobody of this time. It, the last time you ever heard of an audible voice was in Old Testament. Well, if you even actually do your research, it's not even called Old Testament. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a covenant. Okay. And the renewed covenant would be the actual New Testament. People were hearing the voice of God. Then they were hearing the voice of God, even in the, in the new covenant. And they're hearing the voice of God. Now he is the same today. He is the same yesterday and he is the same forever more. God is the same God. So I just want you guys to be encouraged. I want you to be uplifted. I want you to continue to keep praying interceding for others. Let's keep pray, praying for the Jewish community. Let's pray for every nation out here. You guys the ones that have not come to know who Christ is yet, even the ones who actually know who Christ is, I want us to continue to pray that they continue to stay on the wall. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel. Trust me, there are way more to come. You be encouraged and I pray that this inspire you on today, that you share your encounters with people. You start sharing your testimonies. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed.